Let's begin with the latest coronavirus case numbers from Johns Hopkins University. There are now more than 109.9 million confirmed COVID-19 cases around the world, with at least 27.8 million of those here in the U.S., and that death toll now climbing past 490,000 American lives lost. And this is not a good, okay, this, I couldn't believe this, right? They're saying now that possibly COVID is going to be around similar to the common cold. We're just hearing talk of how it's just going to be here, just going to stay with us. And we're going to address this now with ABC News contributing emergency medicine physician, Dr. Darian Sutton. I hate to have to come to you with that news, but I uh, appreciate having you here in for our Dr. Ashton today. But, but that idea, we, we get used to the common cold just being here. It's a part of our lives. The idea that COVID could be that kind of thing for us, too? I felt the same way, TJ. Good afternoon. Uh, you know, it, this, I have many feelings about this. Uh, Dr. Fauci has said uh, that it's doubtful that we're going to be able to eradicate the COVID-19 virus. And unfortunately, I have to agree. Uh, it's probably, COVID-19 is probably going to be here to stay. But you, you have to understand, viruses like COVID-19 tend to persist through time. And this is kind of typical for viruses. And I'm not alone in this thinking. In fact, a recent article published in the Nature Immunology Journal surveyed scientists and found that 89% of them felt that the SARS-CoV-2 virus, the virus that causes COVID-19, was likely or very likely to become an endemic virus, meaning that it will persist indefinitely through time, similar to malaria, measles, and influenza. Okay, so Dr. Sutton, uh, we are wearing masks, we are social distancing, our lives have come to a screeching halt. So what does life look like in the future if COVID-19 does in fact stick around? <laughs> great, great question. So we'll likely continue to see COVID-19, but likely not at the level of severity that we see it as now. And there are many theories about what our future will look like. I think some of the more common ones that make more sense are that maybe we'll start to see smaller outbursts or outbreaks that happen in the future, um, given the fact that we'll have a higher level of surveillance as time goes on. And other theories include that as population immunity increases via natural exposure and vaccine use, we'll start to see just a mild version of COVID-19 and be protected against the severe versions of COVID-19. All right, Dr. Darian Sutton, thank you very much for being with us. We will check in with you in a bit. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.